Well, hey everyone, and welcome to See a Daily Touch Points. It's great to be with you. I just got back from two weeks of vacation, and it was so, so good to have time off. Um, I spent a few days up in Big Bear with my husband and kids. A huge highlight of our time in Big Bear was taking the boys kayaking on the lake. It was so much fun, but it was just great to be away and have extended time with my family. I want to say thanks to Marvin and Elizabeth for jumping in and doing our Daily Touch Point videos these last two Tuesdays. It is great to be back with you guys this week. Well, today in our CA Daily Bible Reading Plan, we are in Numbers chapter 8, and most of this chapter is talking about the process that the Levites went through so that they were prepared to serve in the tabernacle. Earlier in Numbers, we're told what their role would be in the tabernacle. They would be responsible for transporting and guarding it. But before they could do that, chapter 8 tells us that the Levites had to go through a cleansing process. And then look at what happened after the cleansing process. Here's what we read starting in verse 10. When you bring the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites and Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the people of Israel that they may do the service of the Lord. So after the Levites were cleansed, Aaron, who was a priest, would give the Levites to God as a wave offering from the people of Israel. And this idea of the Levites being given as a wave offering is mentioned four times in this chapter. Four times we're told that the Levites would be offered as a wave offering to the Lord. Now, typically when a wave offering was given, what would happen is that the priests would take a portion of what was offered and they would literally wave it in the air. Usually it was waved side to side and then it would be given back to the priests to be used by them. Now, it's not clear how the Levites were waved, but the fact that we're told they were given to God as a wave offering makes me think they were given to God, offered to God, and then God gave them back to the priests and to the people of God to be used by God and to serve him in the tabernacle. One commentary I read said that a wave offering would present something to God as a way of saying, this is yours, God. So when the Levites are presented as a wave offering, it's Israel's way of saying, these Levites belong to you, Lord. How much do we recognize and believe and live as though we belong to God? We belong to him. Everything we have is his. How are we offering ourselves to God to be used by him? I'm reminded of Romans 12, 1, where Paul tells us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. We are called to offer all of ourselves to God, to give all that we are and all that we have to be used by God for his glory. So let's be people who continually offer ourselves to God and who say, God, I'm yours. I belong to you. Use me for your glory. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Thank you for who you are and what you've done through the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray that we would continually offer ourselves to you. And even now, wherever you're at, if you feel ready to say, God, I want to offer myself to you. I want to offer my life and all that I am and have to you. Use me, God, for your glory. Then pray that right now. Pray that and offer yourself to God as a living sacrifice. God, would we be living sacrifices? God, would we be people who continually offer ourselves to you to be used by you? And would you keep reminding us of the truth that we belong to you? Our lives are not our own, but they are yours. You created us. You sustain us. You are in control. God, we belong to you. We love you. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks, you guys. Great to be with you.